Well, Dan Norcross, you love shirts, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Living them every day. <laughs> <laughs> what were you in, fashion design, or what got you into this business? Well, I've always liked nice things, and uh, I was tired of my old career in finance, looking for a change, something that fit my lifestyle better, and primarily, I just wanted to connect with different types of people. You know, in fashion, loads of creative sorts uh, of people, so I started going to finance, uh, I'm sorry, uh, fashion technology conferences. Oh, I just I met the most interesting people in fashion technology. Wow. So there's a lot going on here. People trying to disrupt fashion, and uh, it was just a ton of fun. Ah. So yeah. <laughs> you run into anybody making question mark suits yet? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> I think we can make those for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, my dad was in the rag business in northeastern Pennsylvania, you know, 50, 60 years ago or whatever. And I'm a cutter and, you know, I used to sew and all this kind of stuff. Make infants wear. That was our family business. But this, I mean, you just started, you know, a couple of months ago. You go on Kickstarter looking for 20 grand and in a week or two, you're almost there. Yeah, we're just a couple grand uh, away. We're very close. Wow. So we're excited. We've got great reception. It's awesome. Wow, this is better than Wall Street, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's good confirmation. I've made the right move. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> now, wait a minute. But, but I see Dan. You're Dan. And your buddy with the business. What's his name again? So we have two uh, other partners. Paymon Umai. He's our designer. Uh -huh. And then Sign. He's the business guy that keeps us all on the right I path. I see. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Paymon, uh, he's a designer from Turkey. He's been in a lot of big brands. He's done a lot of amazing work. Now he does bespoke tailoring for uh, kind of high-end stuff like celebrities and the like. Uh -huh. So he's got fantastic style. And so I was really excited to partner with him. Oh, wonderful. Well, so where does the, you know, the name Baylor and Turk come from? Who's Turk? Who's Baylor? <laughs> right, they're two guys. I, I like to picture it as, as a sort of avocado or a straight man, dangerous guy with a Gatling gun. Uh, but actually, Baylor means gentleman in Turkish. Oh. So we're looking for sort of more of a prestige style. You know, mm -hmm. the guy who wants to uh, move up at work or have a successful time with the ladies at night. I see. And, uh, the or, most important know, man in the world. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that ad? Yeah, you know, there's some ad for, yeah, I don't know, cognac or something like that. And some. It, the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, right. The most interesting man in the world. Yeah. Uh, but right. actually, you know, the video you have on Kickstarter is, I mean, I look at the shirts, they look great, you know, in the photographs. But then when I see the video, I see the richness of the material. I mean, that material you're using just looks incredible. I mean, I'm in the old rag business, you know. <laughs> so that's what I see, the material. That's what I found in question mark suits. You can put question marks and people don't know how shitty the material is. You know? <laughs> but I'm glad you saw that. Yeah, yeah but your uh, videos really shows the quality of that fabric. Well, we had a great team putting together for the video. So we got a lot of support from friends doing that. Um, but yeah, the fabric, that's our thing. We're trying to bring back quality. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people are trying to make shirts for five, ten dollars out of China. Uh, everything we do is the highest end fabrics, mainly from the bespoke industry. And so we're basically trying to bring that kind of attention to detail to the masses. You said from one industry, I missed that word. So bespoke is an old English word. It means uh, custom. I see. But if you think of like Savile or German Street in, in London, sort of the well-suited gentleman, the James Bond kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I fancied myself that way when I was younger. Uh, and now, now I find funky cheaper. <laughs> but I appreciate... But the market with uh, gold, actual gold. So actually that, that's gold. Your next well, I mean, but those fabrics, I mean, are, are just incredible. And, and when you put a nice fabric on, I mean, to me, you feel so different in life. I mean, it... it uh, uh, maybe, I don't know if you feel the same way, but having a high quality fabric really makes life, you know, it's like turning on the light bulbs. Yeah. Well, as, as my partner Paymon, he likes to say, you know, when you go through life, pretty much people see your face uh -huh. and then what you're wearing. Yeah. So in a lot of ways, clothes are how people see you. Yeah. So you want, you want people to see you in the best light, wear the best yeah. stuff. You know, that, that's, that's what guides us. But not only that, see, to me, I think it's from inside. It makes you feel inside better. You have something wrapped around you that you really, uh, uh, you know, feels great, makes your insides better so you could radiate more. I don't think it... Absolutely, see, yep. I mean, that's What's what, what I see clothes as. 
Yeah. So I'm really I'm really glad to hear that you you say you saw that in the video because it's tough to convey. You know, yeah. Kickstarter it's it's the internet, it's images, absolutely, and a product. You know, when you touch it, when you feel it, you can really understand what the quality yeah. is. But that's and we I mean. tried our the, the still shots that. on the site are hard to see that quality, but that video, man, I I don't know who did that. Maybe it's like those food people. <laughs> <laughs> But that that is really rich stuff. And so you have a couple more weeks, right, uh, to, to double your goal or whatever you're going to do at that time, right? Yeah, two weeks to go. So 20K was our goal. 40K is kind of our stretch goal. As you know, on Kickstarter, uh, if you don't reach your goal, you get nothing. Right. So we set a goal that we were pretty comfortable with. I see. But, you know, we're trying to launch a business. So, you know, from here on out, everything is just going to allow us to do more and uh, get the word out better. And you've never been in the clothing business before, right? No, I've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but you're successful already. See, that's what's so great about life. <laughs> you can say, well, you know, let's put on a play in the barn. And you go to the barn and put on <laughs> It's the thing about Kickstarter. They're, they're encouraging everyone to explore their creative side and, and create creative exactly. projects and, and, then, uh, and do new things. So, yeah, it's, it's really been fantastic. Well, wonderful. Okay, so it's BaylorandTurk.com, right? So go there Baylor for that. Turk, uh, handmade, custom, luxury shirts. The best shirt in your closet, we, we promise you. And, uh, yeah, please check us out. And you'll be the most interesting man in the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, take care, Dan. Great to talk to you. Thanks so much, Matthew. Appreciate the time.